Are you looking forward to this one, to pit your wits against yeah. the Premier League opposition? Yeah, it's a great challenge, opportunity. We understand it's going to be a really tough game, a really big ask, but... You know, we've spoke to the players this morning just about going and showing what we're about and really just trying to give a good performance. And if we can do that, you never really know. Um, but yeah, that's our focus really, just to enjoy the day and make sure we give a good account of ourselves. How much are you looking forward to this test and how much belief do you have that you can go there and cause an upset? Look, you have to believe because if you don't believe, there's no point going in the first place. But we're also humble enough to know that they are two divisions ahead of us. They've been very competitive in the Premier League so far this season. They've got a really good team. I know the manager very well. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be a huge task. But, as I said, our focus is just going there to perform well. You mentioned that. Obviously, you come up against somebody you know well, a former yeah. teammate of yours in Rob Edwards at Bolton, who is now a manager there. Do you have conversations before? Yeah. Have you had conversations since the tie came out? Yeah, we spoke on Wednesday. Um, yeah, and look, we that's the thing about knowing each other. We, we know our teams a lot as well. He knows how we play and what we do, and, and I know how his team plays. We've seen a lot of each other. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to seeing him. He's done an incredible job so far. Um, huge underdogs every week, but they've been competitive every week, and it's great to see. Any banter between the two of you here? No, not yet. Um, there will be on, on Saturday. He's a, he's a good-looking lad, isn't he? Sunday, sorry. He's a good-looking lad, so I might have to scrub up well on Sunday. Yeah. Uh, but for you as well, I mean, you're in, in such great form at the moment and you must have so much confidence after the Christmas period. With, is it four wins and yeah. three clean sheets as well? Yeah, look, the Christmas period was a huge challenge and, and task for us that... You know, four games in nine days is, is, is really physically difficult. The players were away from their families a lot. We travelled to Lincoln on Christmas Day, but we got the rewards from that. The hard work paid off and we got the four wins we needed. We are, we are in good form. We are confident and you need to be confident to play the way we want to play. And as I said, that will be our confidence on Sunday just to go there and do what we do and hopefully we can give them a good game. And how strange is it to flip the mindset? Because in the competition so far, you were kind of the ones yeah. who were the big dogs, not the underdogs, and now it's rolls reverse. Exactly, and it's strange being the manager of this football club saying that we're underdogs because we're such a huge football club with huge expectation. Um, but yeah, we are going to be underdogs on Sunday and it is a different kind of mentality and mindset for us. Obviously, in the league we're in, we're expected to win every week. This is slightly different, but it's about the process and if we can perform well, it gives us a good opportunity. And how big an opportunity is it for these players, for your players, to go to Luton on the Premier League side and show what they can do against Premier League opposition? Yeah, they have to embrace that. You know, these players are at the top of the game at the moment. As I said, they they narrowly lost to Man City, to Chelsea. They drew with Liverpool. They beat Newcastle. You know, they're a serious op opposition, especially at home, and it's going to be a real challenge for us. But one we're going to embrace and enjoy. Now, I think the last time you played each other was in the FA Cup and it was one all in the first one and then you won 6-2 uh, yeah. back at home. Would you like something like that similar? Again? Uh, I'm not sure about the replay. I'm sure Rob's the same. Um, the, the fixture list is already looking pretty condensed. So hopefully there's a re result on the day and, and hopefully the best team will win. And I presume win or lose, you'll share a glass of wine or a glass of whatever yeah. with Rob afterwards. Yeah, look, as I said, I'm looking forward to seeing him in this industry and, and the roles that we, we are in. It's difficult to find time. But we speak quite regularly on the phone and as I said, there's no one more happy for me, for him, sorry, than, than me and the job that he's doing so far and how competitive they've been in the Premier League. Is it someone you admire and almost think, right, you can kind of see what he's done and the progress and what he, where he's taking. So you think, that's kind of yeah. a similar, obviously I know a few seasons been anymore, but yeah. ultimately that's the ultimate goal kind of here, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, they've been huge underdogs the last few seasons and they've continuously progressed and, and always overachieved and they've done the same thing again this season and no one give them a chance but every week they're competitive every week the performances are getting better so yeah it's a, it's a huge task for us but also one that we need to look at and, and their blueprint and how they've done things and you mentioned it the fixture congestion is this a hindrance or is this a welcome relief but winning football matches is always a relief because you need to win to to keep the wolves at bay. Um, but no, we're we're happy with the way we're going. Um, we want to try and get through to the next round. Of course we do. But as I said before, we're always humble enough to know that this is a huge task and a huge mountain to climb. But a great test that we're looking forward to. Thank you. Much appreciate, mate. Thank you very great. much for that.